Welcome to the Cultural Awareness Series, where we merge the understanding of the term culture, both in human society and microbiology, by highlighting microbiologists you may have never heard of. Today, we will be learning about Jessie Isabel Price. Dr. Jessie Isabel Price is best known for her work as a veterinary microbiologist. She developed vaccines to protect ducks and waterfowl from microbial infections. In particular, she developed a vaccine against Pasteurella antipestifer, which was a disease that killed about 10 to 30% of ducks in duck farms, annually costing farmers about $250,000 per year, which would be about $2 million today. Price was born in 1930 in Pennsylvania. Raised by a single mother in a predominantly white community, Price was the only African American in her class. She continued her education at Cornell University, where she graduated with a Bachelor of Science from the College of Agriculture in 1953. Price wanted to continue on into her postgraduate studies, but was not in a position to afford it due to financial constraints. Therefore, she worked as a laboratory technician for three years in the Poultry Disease Research Farm at the Veterinary College at Cornell to gain experience as well as save up for her future education. Price was able to gain research assistant support while earning her master's in 1958 and doctorate in 1959 at Cornell. Her master's and doctoral work focused on microbial diseases in birds, in particular chickens and ducks. Her dissertation was published in 1959 in the Journal of Avian Diseases. After earning her PhD, Price conducted research at the Cornell Duck Research Laboratory, while also serving as an adjunct professor at Long Island University. During her research, she worked to develop a vaccine for the Long Island New Duck Disease. This was an extremely infectious disease affecting primarily ducklings with a high mortality rate, sometimes losses up to 75% within a duck population. In 1956, the disease was identified as, quote, the most important disease problem of the duck industry, end quote, by the USDA. Price had already isolated and reproduced the causative agent of the disease, Pasteurella antipestifer, during her doctoral work, which was the first step in vaccine development. As Price conducted research at the Cornell Duck Research Laboratory, she worked tirelessly on a vaccine. This was not a glamorous lifestyle. Price would walk the four-mile distance between her laboratory and the duck farm, which involved conducting vaccine trials as well as performing daily autopsies. Her hard work, along with grants from notable scientific agencies, such as the National Science Foundation, led to her developing an injectable and eventually oral vaccine for the disease. Price eventually moved to Madison, Wisconsin in 1977 to continue her research on avian disease at the USGS National Wildlife Health Center. She continued working on vaccine development for diseases such as avian cholera and TB, as well as studying the environmental impacts on waterfowl populations throughout her career. Price collaborated with national and international colleagues during her vaccine development gained fellowships from societies such as the American Society of Microbiology, and was active in the Graduate Women of Science, or Sigma Delta Epsilon. In her spare time, Price was a dog lover and breeder with a prize-winning corgi in the 1960s. She loved to pursue her other passions in photography, music, and travel. Price passed away of dementia in 2015, but her legacy lives on in avian disease research as well as avian medicine.